We are in the women's featherweight division, all thanks to Combat Sports Insurance, fighting out of our blue corner. She weighed in at 66.2 kilos. Her amateur record, two fights, one victory. Training under Adolfo Marquez. She fights out of Westside MMA in Melbourne. Please welcome Linda, my Linda. Her opponent in the red corner, weighed in at 64.7 kilos, with an amateur record of one fight, one win. Fighting out of KG MMA in Toowoomba under Joseph Perry. Please welcome Molly O'Connor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Eternal 36 for our first women's MMA belt this evening in the featherweight division here at the Southport Shark Sports Club. Linda Hafoka versus Molly O'Connell. Tanira and Nathan Cage side once again with Ben Alloway. Molly trying in deep on that clinch for the takedown, but Linda doing a good job of staying on her feet. Now she's in a bit of trouble here with her arms high. Molly with double arm. You need to get that body lock a little bit lower. Looking for the reap. That left reap. Now she's down for the double. Great takedown defense so far by Linda. And it is good to see, Benny, you know, we, <laughs> we enjoy watching the men inside the cage. However, this is a very, very diverse sport. Good to see our lovely ladies putting on a show here tonight. Yeah, definitely. Always good to see the girls getting in and having a crack. They always seem to go all out in their fights. Very rarely a dull fight from the girls. Almost she's pulling on a shirt there. I think Pete's going to let go in. of the Rashi. Do you think she's working too hard to get the takedown, Benny, or is this where Molly O'Connell wants to be? Yeah, definitely burn a lot of energy here on the fence, you know. It's, um, it can be very taxing. We'll see how they go. We'll see if she gets it and how she feels. If she doesn't get it, we'll see what she looks like if she separates. And you can see there Linda landing some nice knees on the inside there. Yeah, it definitely looks like a bit of size difference. Obviously, Molly weighing in almost two kilos under the weight limit. Um, Peter Hickmont says he has had enough and he's going to center him up and square him up once again. And obviously Molly playing in the in the uh, Australian All-Stars Indigenous Rugby League team. She's got to have some kind of fitness. She lands a beautiful overhand right. 100%. And it's good to see Benny, you know, not only is it your, your, classic, your classic fighter as Molly looks for a looping overhand right. We're seeing a lot more, uh, should I say, elite athletes going into MMA as opposed to uh, your traditional uh, football or cont other contact sports. Oh, definitely. It's, um... You yourself, for one, played a bit of rugby league in your junior years. Once upon a time when I was little. <laughs> rugby union at, at Ipswich Grammar at all? Uh, no. Not at all. Not at all. Not there. I was only allowed to play soccer. Okay, I got hurt. End of round number one. Big thanks to our medical staff here today, Peter Allen and the team from Advantage Training Services in first aid, CPR, and first aid equipment and replenishing Advantage Training Services. I don't know if you saw that TV, that was a very. Uh, Different way of icing down the fighter in the blue corner there. We'll see if it goes ahead again for another round. We might get another look at it. I haven't seen that technique before. Well, I'll tell you what, we are never, never not shocked or surprised when it comes to the sport of mixed martial arts. Linda's starting to loosen up now here in the second. Molly looking for that overhand into the takedown. Oh, good left off the right miss. Girl's going at it. 
Straight into the clinch, looking for that reap again. She's got the double unders and the body lock. Good takedown. And she gets it. And this is where Molly O'Connell wants to be. In full mount with Linda Hafoka stuffed up against the cage. Linda really needs to get on those hips and knees and get it, get some space here. She's going to be in a bit of trouble with the blue belt on top of her. Molly doing a good job of staying heavy so far, as you would put it, Benny. Posture up and punch as she starts to let go now. Just letting Linda roll to her belly so she can get the back and obviously attack here with the rear naked choke. Looking for a submission here tonight. Could we see our first of the evening? A little bit high. There's no pressure on Linda's back at the moment, so not too comfortable, but not as uncomfortable as it should be. She needs to really stretch her own legs out and flatten Linda right out here. Did a good job, though, attacking that neck. Linda seemed pretty comfortable there, defending on the ground, though. And this is probably the most grappling, uh, I guess, we've seen here on our card tonight. Our first four fights. I'll tell you what, we had some absolute crackers. But very, very, uh, I guess, refreshing to see. Oh, man, those last couple of knockouts. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Unbelievable. We started off the night with our Winter Warrior Challenge, Sullivan versus Tave Tagakik. Liam Skelton and Alex Atutahi went at it in the heavyweight division. And what a fight. 40 and 46. Alvaro Navarro knocked out George Daly in brutal fashion before Chris Thorne did, this, did the same to Joe Marsden. Jordan Payne bursting onto the scene. Sorry, Matt Gorin bursting onto the scene with his knockout over Jordan Payne. Yeah, I mean, you don't often see two integrated boys get KO'd like that. Um, but, you know, the boys that got the wins over the, the integrated boys tonight definitely deserved it. 100%. Molly just in complete control for that whole round. You'd have to say another round would go to Molly. Our sponsors, Combat Sports Insurance, providing peace of mind for individual fighters gyms, associations, and events in all combat sports styles, combatsportsinsurance.com.au. Third and final round. It's going to be hard for Linda to come forward and be aggressive when she's thinking about that takedown, spending that whole second round with Molly on top. I'll tell you oh, what, you'd have to think it would be two rounds in the bank for Molly O'Connell. Linda would have to do something here to impress the judges or finish it herself to take it out of their hands altogether. Chopping away that lead leg, smart move by Linda at the moment. Oh, good right hand over the top too. Once again, a huge thanks to our sponsors, Combat Sports Insurance. Peace of mind for individual fighters, gyms, associations, and anyone involved in combat sports alike. Linda's, Linda's finding a home for that right hand, T. And again, as Molly finds one for her own, and this is exactly where she wants to be in close. The corner calls out for the single leg. Will Molly listen? Looking to trap that leg again for that outside reap. She likes, seems to like that technique a lot. She's gone for it a few times in this fight. She's going to have to get some offense off here too or Pete's going to split them up. 100%. Molly looking for a single leg now, and she gets it. So Linda All right, just 60 just seconds left in this round in the fight for these two ladies in the women's featherweight division. Let's get them home. 
you see that lack of experience in the wrestling with Linda. She's defending this position the wrong way. And now she's gonna end up on the back with Molly and half guard. Oh, beautiful reversal. Reversal there by Linda Harfoka. She really needs to get to work though if she's gonna win this fight, T. Yeah. She's got to, she's gotta look for a finish here. She can't leave it in the hands of the judges. You'd have to think Molly has sealed two of the three. That reversal definitely not enough to get Linda the win, but can she pull off something spectacular here? Looks like Molly's just holding on to win this fight from the bottom here. Linda landing shots from the top, but will it be enough? The waiting game begins now. What do the judges have to say about that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for those girls? That was great. We go to the judges' scorecards. It's close, but we have a majority decision. Going to the blue corner, Linda, Linda.